Okay, good morning. Welcome to Fire Mountain number 853. Fire Mountain 853. So today I thought we'd take a, uh, a trip down memory lane and uh, revisit this really amazing book called An Illustrated Theory of Numbers by Martin Weissman. Um, I really like this book and what we're going to take a look at today specifically uh, is some ideas that are in chapter 4 called Gaussian and Eisenstein integers. Okay? Alright. All right. So I'm just going to wing this a little bit. Uh, what are integers? Um, they're whole numbers, but they're negative, too. Okay, so give me some examples of integers. So, like, negative 1, 3, Go ahead. 5. Get it right. Alright, did he leave any off his list? Yes. Okay. What's something that's not an integer? Something like two thirds pi like minus zero point eight three seven. Okay. Yeah. Integers are basically they're rational numbers, but instead of A over B, they're A over one. Good definition. Um Okay, so we're going to look <coughs> at a different class of integers called Gaussian integers. And, and before I even write down what they are, have you ever heard this term before? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't believe so. Okay. Um, <coughs> so Gaussian integers are a version of integers, but in just the complex plane. So we have, this will be the i-axis and this will be the real axis. And so I have my regular integers here. One, two, three, zero, minus one, minus two, minus three. And then I have the i-axis. One, two, one, two. So like this point here, two plus i. So the Gaussian integers would be a plus bi, where a and b are both integers. Uh, yeah, that's right. So give me an example of um, a, another Gaussian integer. Well, do they have to be like oh, a regular integer plus one of these? Could it just be like i? Ah, very good question. Yes, i all by itself is a Gaussian integer. All right. As is, what, what would be another example similar to what you just did? Negative i? Yeah. And then like, just, this is a Gaussian integer too. That's, that's correct. One is also a Gaussian integer. Um, so, give me some things that you know about integers, just properties uh, of integers that you, we've studied or you know about or you may think or have maybe even have heard people think are interesting. Um, what are facts about integers that people like to study? Maybe they're squares. Okay, maybe they're squares. Well, the fact that they're closed through some operations. Ah, okay. Wow, very good. Very good. Uh, integers are closed. What does that mean? So it means, like, if you take an integer, so being, you're just being closed through addition. If you take an integer and add it, add it with another integer, you'll get an integer as a result. Super. Great example. And then integers are closed through addition, multiplication, and the subtraction, but not through division. Okay. Anything else interesting about integers that people study? Um, maybe like primes. Ooh, wow. Yeah, great example. Primes. What does it mean to be prime? Um, so you have only two... So when you factor it, you only have itself and one as prime factors. Okay. Great. And actually one is in prime. Okay. So then I'm just getting the sense of the primes, some of the existing primes will change with the Gaussian integers. Oh, why? Why do you think that's true? So just, I was just looking through a couple in my head and I was, I got to five. Uh-huh. And but five can be factored over the Gaussian integers. Yeah, right. Which I think. Okay. I think <coughs> we can say that it's two plus i times two minus i. Because by difference of squares, this is two squared minus i squared, which is minus 1, which is 5. 
Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So we'll get some shifts in our primes. Super, wow. And probably some new primes. Okay. We've had a great, we've had a great start today. Um, all right, let's talk about some of these things.